What's next for Sean Strickland? Why they destroying Paulo Costa for five rounds straight? What is next? Or, well, he should get a title shot. Now, let's say Drake is Duplicy beats the winner between Hamza Chamaya and Robert Whitaker. I got Sean Strickland beating Drake is Duplicy once again because Sean Strickland clearly outlanded Drake is Duplicy and beat Drake is Duplicy. And Sean Strickland showed that his striking and his constant pressure is just way too much for Drake is Duplicy. Now, let's say Robert Whitaker beats Hamza Chamaya and then goes on to beat Drake is Duplicy. I still got Sean Strickland and beating Robert Whitaker. Sean Strickland just has way more skill and has been way more active than Robert Whitaker. Now let's say Hamza Chamaya beats Robert Whitaker and then goes on to beat Drake's Duplessis. I got Sean Strickland beating Hamza Chamaya and I'll tell you why. Yes, Hamza Chamaya's wrestling grappling and ground game is way better than Sean Strickland's but Sean Strickland has way more experience than Hamza Chamaya and his striking and gasting is way better than Hamza Chamaya's and Sean Strickland has been way more active than Hamza Chamaya. Now what's interesting but makes a lot of sense is that Sean Strickland in his post fight conference he said that he's just gonna sit at the gym and wait and he's not gonna fight unless it's for the title which i could get behind that because who else would he need to fight besides the three guys we just named because it would be stupid for him to fight somebody else because he would risk losing and dropping down in ranks and then he would just have to work his way back up again which would be very stupid because he doesn't need to fight anybody else besides drinkers duplessis hamza chumayev or robert whitaker because he's ranked number one so he doesn't have to prove anything so if sean strickland is standing by this which is smart he is willing to be out for a couple of months or he might be out to the end of this year or he even might be out to early next next year because first we have to wait for Hamza Chumaya to fight Robert Whitaker and then it's going to take more than a couple months for the winner of that fight to recover and then we're going to have to wait for the winner of that fight versus Drake's Duplessis to be announced and then we got to wait for that fight to happen and then after that fight again we got to wait a couple months for the winner of that fight to recover and then the winner of that fight versus Sean Strickland has to be announced and then we got to wait for that fight to happen so in the end based off everything I've talked about it's going to be a long run and it's going to take a lot of time before Sean Strickland sees another title fight but I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it because if he waits and he ends up winning the title once again it's going to be safe to say that he runs the whole middle middleweight division.